Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Since the release of the 1.3 update for Terraria, the amount of wings in the game has over doubled. There are now a grand total of 36 available wings for the PC version. The wings which you can see on screen right now are ranked from worst to best. And I've also added a timestamp for each wing in the description below for you to pick. So I'm here to show you how to get all the wings in Terraria. A little note here before we start, you must be in hard mode to create any of the wings seen in the video. Obtain the soul of flight from the wireworms, which can fly high up in the sky around the floating islands. You will need a grand total of 300 soul of flight to create all the wings. First off on the list are angel and the demon wings. You can craft the angel wings with 20 soul of flight, 10 feathers, and 25 soul of light at a mithril or orichalicum anvil. To craft the demon wings, you just switch out the 25 soul of light with 25 soul of night. These souls can be acquired in either underground hollow or crimson slash corruption, depending on the world. Next up are the tasty fin wings. The fin wings are a quest reward from the angler. To obtain the angler, you must first find him at either side of your oceans and have him move into a house. From there, he gives you daily fishing quests, which you can complete for rewards. The chance of getting the fin wings increase after how many quests you have completed. The more quests, the higher chance. The jetpack is a buyable item from the steampunker who will move into your house once you defeated a mechanical boss. The jetpack is only sold on a waxing moon, which is between a new moon to a full moon and costs 40 gold. For the bee wings, you will need to acquire a tattered bee wing, which is dropped by the moss hornets in the underground jungle. Combine it with 20 soul of flight at an anvil to create the wings. Next up are fabulous butterfly wings. To make the butterfly wings, you'll need to find a rare moth in the underground jungle and acquire some butterfly dust from it. Then simply combine it with 20 soul of flight at an anvil. If you want to cosplay as Tinkerbell or take revenge on Navi, then this is the item for you. To make the fairy wings, you simply need to obtain 100 pixel dust and 20 soul of flight and craft them at an anvil. If you want to honor Sir Christopher Lee with style or fight as the Dark Knight, then you should get a hold of the bat wings. To create the bat wings, you simply need to kill vampires during a solar eclipse and get a hold of one of their precious bat wings. Then you combine it with 20 solar flight at an anvil once more. The solar eclipse are now a summonable event with a solar tablet. Next on the list is the not as cool but still fashionable harpy wings. The harpy wings are created with a giant harpy feather, which you can obtain for killing harpies. Then combine the giant harpy feather with 20 solar flight at an anvil once again. The giant harpy feather is the only wing material item which you can obtain before hard mode. So if you want to be early out for hard mode, this is the wings for you. Now onto the least effective wings, the bone wings. Once in hard mode, you can get a hold of a bone feather when you are in the hard mode dungeon by killing armor bones of any kind. Then you simply combine it with 20 soul of light at an anvil. Now onto the developer wings. These wings are only obtainable in the expert mode of the game. The wings are rare drop from the hard mode boss's treasure bags, and all wings have a 5% chance of dropping. All the wings have the same stats and abilities, except Leisure's barrier platform and Eurazer's spell, which can fly horizontally by holding down space and a down key at the same time. The exceptionally big Mothron wings are a rare drop on the Mothron miniboss during a solar eclipse. The leaf wings are purchasable from the Witch Doctor, who moves in once you defeated the Queen Bee. If you make a house for him in the Harmon jungle, he will be available to sell you the leaf wings at night for one platinum coin. The Ice Gold Frozen Wings you can create with an Ice Feather, which is a rare drop on the Ice Golem, which only spawns in snow biomes during a snowstorm. A snowstorm is the equivalent of rain in other biomes. Once I acquire the feather, you simply combine it with 20 soul of flight at an anvil once again. The very so hot flame wings are craftable with a fire feather, which is a rare drop from the red devils in the underworld. Combine it with 20 soul of flight at an anvil and you go to sell some wings. To obtain the shady specter wings, you will need a total of 60 chlorified ore, which can only mine in the underground jungle and smelt them at either an adamantium or titanium forge. Then you'll need to get 5 ectoplasm, which you can get from killing skeletons in a dungeon, then smelt the 10 chlorophyll bars with the 5 ectoplasm to make 10 spectre bars. Now spice up the bars with 20 soil of light, at an anvil, and you go to self the spectre wings. To create the beetle wings, you'll need a total of 8 beetle husks, which is dropped by the golem in the lizard temple. 
you spawn the golem with power cells, which you can either obtain from mobs or chests within the temple. Once I got the hold of your beetle husks, then combine them with 20 soul of flight at the navel once again. When you get a hold of this item, you won't need roads anymore. To craft the hoverboard, you'll need a total of 108 chlorophyte ore, 270 glowing mushrooms, and an auto hammer which you can buy from truffle, and then combine it all together. Once you have gotten hold of your 18 shrimp bars, add 20 soul of flight at an anvil once again, and you got yourself a hoverboard. The hoverboard also has the ability to glide horizontally by holding down the space and the down key at the same time. The festive wings are a rare drop from the Everest Green boss during the Frost Moon event. The drop chance increases the more ways you clear. As for the spooky wings and the tattered fair wings, you'll need to kill the Morningwood boss and the Pumpkin boss during the Pumpkin Moon. As with the festive wings, the drop chance increases the more waves you clear. When you are done, add 20 soul of flight with the spooky twig and the black fairy dust at an anvil once again. You can now buy the steampunk wings from the steampunker for one platinum coin once you have defeated the golem. First of all, the fishron wings are better than the vortex booster and the stardust wings, but I decided to show it first for the sake of explanation later on. The fishron wings are a rare drop from the duke fishron boss, which is a spawnable boss if you obtain a truffle worm from the underground mushroom biome. When you've gotten a hold of a truffle worm, go to one of the oceans and start fishing with it. This will spawn Duke Fishron. For the next wings and swords, you'll need to activate the Lunar Event. To start the Lunar Event, you'll need to defeat the Lunatic Cultist boss at the dungeon. This will trigger an event all over the world, which spawns 4 towers you need to destroy. You'll also get an Ancient Manipulator from the Lunatic Cultist you need to take care of for later on. To destroy the towers, you'll need to kill 100 enemies on normal difficulty and 150 on expert, then you are able to destroy the towers. Each of the towers drop a different type of fragments. Once all of the 4 towers are destroyed, the Moon Lord boss will spawn. Once the Moon Lord is defeated, he will drop Luminite Ore, which you can turn into Luminite Bars at the Ancient Manipulator, which you obtained earlier. To craft the wings, you need 10 luminate bars per set of wings, and 14 of that type of fragment for the wings you want to create. And you create the wings at the Ancient Manipulator. The Vortex fragments gives you the Vortex Booster, and the Stardust fragments give you the Stardust Wings. The Vortex Booster and the Stardust Wings have the ability to glide horizontally like the hoverboard, while holding down space and the down button at the same time. With the Nebula fragments, you get the Nebula Mantle or Nebula Wings, and with the solar fragments, you can now create the best wings in the game. I hope this video helped you out, and if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. And uh, as always guys, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you next time!